everyone. Yesterday we talked about how to change a fraction into a division problem. We did not solve, but today we're actually going to be solving. So we're going to do lesson 9.2, and we have mixed numbers and fractions as answers. Quotients. Those are answers to our problems our division problems. Okay, so I'm not going to be actually telling you how to set up the problems, okay, because we've already learned that. I'm going to be showing you how to solve. Okay, so this is how I would solve. I'm actually going to go and get our number one here, five into four, four divided by five, okay? So this fraction would be 4 divided by 5, and that would be my answer. Okay? Now what happens if that ends up being a mix, uh, ends up being an improper fraction? Then I turn it into a mixed number. What happens if I can simplify that fraction? Then you need to simplify it. Let me do another one. Let's do 28 divided by 20. Okay? So this would be 28 divided by 20. Well, this is a mixed number. So I have to find out how many times it goes in. That would be 1 and 8 twentieths. Well, I can simplify this. This would be 1 and 2, nope, 1 and 2 fifths, because 4 could go into them, 1 and 2 fifths. So that would be my answer. I take that and turn it into a mixed number and simplify. My next one would be, let's do two more. 23 divided by 10. I would write it like this, 23 divided by 10, or 23 divided by 10. So I want to take this and make it into a mixed number. This would be 2 and 3 tenths would be my answer. Okay. Now my last one I want to do as an example here um, before I move on to like when we said uh, four friends share two muffins, how much would they get? I'm going to do 1 divided by 5, which would be 1 divided by 5, and that would be my answer because that's a proper fraction. Okay. Now the last one kind I want to talk about is when I have eight basketball players Oops, I use my pencil here. Basketball players share two um let's see here, balls. They share two balls for practice. Okay, so that would be two balls divided by eight players. Well, let's not do basketballs. We can't divide basketballs up, can we? We'll do, uh, we'll just do cookies. So two cookies divided amongst eight basketball players. It would be one-fourth because that's how I would simplify it. All right, and that is your lesson on... Mixed numbers and fractions as quotients.